Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar by 42 Gears. I am Rahul and I work as a senior technical specialist at 42 Gears. Thank you for joining me today. In today's webinar, I'm going to discuss about zero touch enrollment. Zero touch enrollment is a fast, easy, and efficient way to deploy corporate owned Android devices. This makes the devices right to be used right out of the box. I'm going to start this webinar by talking a bit about Android. Of course, Android needs no introduction. Google's Android operating system has been the most popular operating system in the consumer space for a long time. Mostly because Android devices offer flexibility, variety, and user friendliness, and that too at various price points. After the huge success Android had with individual customer, Google decided to venture into the enterprise market in the year 2014. It launched devices with enterprise friendly features keeping businesses in mind. Android Enterprise was one of them. With Android Enterprise APIs, businesses got advanced device management, data security, and rapid deployment features such as zero touch enrollment. With Android zero touch enrollment, deploying devices in bulk became easy. It eliminated the need for IT admins to provision devices one by one. Zero touch enrollment or ZTE can be defined as a streamlined one time setup for Android devices to be provisioned for enterprise management. Let's move on to see some of the benefits of using zero touch enrollment. ZT allows IT admins to set up and configure devices with minimal admin action and without any user intervention. When devices are provisioned using ZT, they get enrolled in an MDM account. One of the biggest advantages of ZT for IT admins is that they make large scale deployments faster, easier, and more secure for organization. That is, IT admins can quickly roll out devices in bulk. It also ensures that devices are correctly and consistently configured and are ready to be used as soon as they are turned on. It provides greater control over your devices with a one-time setup process. These devices are ready to be managed with an MDM solutions. Now let's talk about the users. How do they benefit from ZTE? First and foremost, the user gets a device that is ready to be used right out of the box. And as the devices gets configured, as they are turned on, ZTE's method of deployment provides a seamless and native experience to the users. Once the device is unboxed, the ZTE policy gets applied, which means that the enterprise settings get configured. Applications such as those for email, Wi-Fi and VPN are also get configured. Now let's see how we can set up the zero touch enrollment and how it works. Setting up zero touch enrollment is quite easy process. Customers or organizations purchase devices from the resellers 
resellers create new customer zero touch enrollment account for organization in this imei or serial numbers are transmitted to the android zero touch portal resellers assign devices to customers or organizations organizations create emm configs for their enterprises which means that they can configure emm policies based on their needs and then resellers send the devices to end users locations and once end user turn on their devices they are ready to be used i will also show you how to provision devices out of the box or oobe with zte in a bit but before that let's see i will talk about a little bit uh, about 42 gear support for zte you can easily configure android zero touch enrollment with shor mdm 42 gear support for android zero touch enrollment allows it admins to use shor mdm to set compliance policies and distribute applications and updates without any intervention from the users with shor mdm support for zte users can simply unbox the device power it on and connect it to any network to launch automatic configuration once configuration is complete users can start using their devices with the preset enterprise settings and applications zero touch enrollment is supported on google pixel devices which is running on android 7.0 and on google recommended devices with android oreo and ibub now let me give you a walk through of 42 gears web console where i will be talking about how to create manage groups folder in shore mdm console we'll also see how we can configure the pre enrollment policies and of course about the device information which gets updated in shore mdm console just to quickly apprise on how to log into 42 gears uem console you just have to visit 42gears.com and on the right hand side you can find free trial button so you just have to click on free trial button to register yourself once you register on 42 gears web console the account will get activated and you are good to go and you can log into our shore mdm console as soon as you log in it will take you to the home page of shore mdm which is visible over here you can see that now once you log in on the right hand side you just have to click on settings option which is displaying on the extreme right corner and here you will get the account id this account id would be unique for your shore mdm console and along with that you will have an option to customize your own dns account it means you can customize your own shore mdm url so these two parameters that is url of your shore mdm console and account id is very important to set up the zte portal with shore mdm console once you have this two information that is server path of your shore mdm console and the account id we are good to go and we can easily configure zte with shore mdm now let me brief you about the shore mdm console so on the left hand side you can see the groups folder option 
this option helps MDM admins to manage, segregate, and configure devices based on different employees' locations as well as their roles. And of course, this can be expanded. Admins can easily create a group in MDM console and can enroll devices in it. So to create any group, you just have to hit on this button over here and just enter your group name. So I'll just enter a group name as webinar test device. And I'll just hit on OK button. As soon as you click on OK button, the group will get created with the message says no device available in this group. Now once a device. Once a folder is selected. All devices in that group will appear and you can see all the information related to device under device info panel. Now we'll talk about which all information we fetch from the device and we update in short MDM. So well, as a part of device information uh, information panel, we fetch the device model, the operating system running in your device. And apart from this, we do fetch the network information like MAC address, IP address, local IP address, connection, whether it is secured or unsecured, IME number of your device, Wi-Fi signal, mobile signal, and also the serial number. We do fetch the connectivity information of your devices. If your devices are connected with mobile data network, then we fetch proper data operator name and we display in Shore MDM console. If your devices are connected with any Wi-Fi network, then we display the proper SSID network name in 42 gears UEM console. Along with this, we also display the battery information and the memory management of your devices. Admin will also have an option to configure a pre enrollment policy on any particular group. So that if someone enrolls their device, the defined policies will automatically get deployed on the devices and admin will not have to log into web console every time to deploy any job manually. So to set any default job on any particular group, you just have to select the group and click on this properties icon or you can use our shortcut option. Just select the group and do right click on that. Here you will get a properties option. You just have to hit on properties. Click on add option over here and add any job as a default job. So if I select test install application job and click on OK. This job will get saved as a pre enrollment job on Q18 on Q18 group. Now as soon as you enroll your device under Q18 group. The Default set job will automatically get deployed and you can easily check from here. Once you set any default job, the icon of this folder will get changed from green to blue color. Now you must be wondering. If there is a specific list of device manufacturers that support ZTE. Well, ZTE is supported on all Google recommended devices with Android Oreo and above. Some of the devices on which ZTEs is supported are Data Logic, Blackberry, JTAC, Google Pixel, Honeywell, Kyocera, and Lenovo. Now, once the devices are enrolled into Shore MDM, there are a range of features that allows you to manage all of your businesses devices from a central point, regardless of where you are. 
you can configure default MDM policies as a part of the pre enrollment process. Zero touch enrollment feature not only simplifies the entire deployment task, but also it saves cost and time. You can configure devices with all the businesses application and settings that your employees need to be productive. You can even enforce security policies and restrictions to ensure that the devices are compliant at all the times. Here, I would like to stress on the security points. Zero touch enrollment with Shore MDM allows IT admins to encrypt devices. Also, we'll have an option to scan them using native MTD features provided by Android Enterprise. And also allow access to selected applications in the device and also disable the USB ports and other unknown sources. So I can say here ZT can be a win-win for your IT teams as well as for your employees. By automating and streamlining mobile device deployments, you can get a huge competitive advantage. Plus, it reduces some burden on the IT teams and help them to focus on other important tasks. For some industries, zero touch enrollment can help save up to millions of dollars while maximizing the employee productivity. Now, without any further ado, let me show you how we can create a profile in ZTE portal and assign that profile on ZTE enabled devices. And also we'll show you some of the features which will definitely help you in configuring your devices from the Shore MDM console. That is 42 gears UEM console. So for that, let me take you to the ZT portal. So you just have to log in this ZT portal. Definitely the access of this you will be getting from your resellers. Once you get the access of ZT portal, you can just go to the configurations part. Under the devices section, all the devices will be already listed down over here, which will be uploaded by the, your resellers. And you will see the list of devices with the proper IMEI number or serial number over here. Now to create any profile, you just have to go to configuration part. Under configuration, on the right hand side, you can see there's a positive symbol. You just have to hit on that positive symbol over here. It will ask you to enter the configuration name. So I'll just enter a configuration name as 42 gears ZTE. Now from the EMM DPC, you will have to select Shore MDM application. So just scroll down and you will find an option called Shore MDM mobile device management, 42 gears MDM. Enter on it. Now you will have to enter the DPC extras. Now you must be wondering from where I will get this JSON DPC extras. So for that, you just have to go to your browser and you just search for ZT 42 gears. In this, you just have to hit on first link, zero touch enrollment in Shore MDM. Once you click on that, 
it will open up the page where you will find the JSON format, which you will have to copy and paste in ZTE portal. In this, you just have to customize the account ID which you will be getting from your Shor MDM console. So go to your Shor MDM console, do right click on that, and from here you will get the account ID of your Shor MDM. So this thing you will have to copy and paste under account ID. And server path is nothing but your Shor MDM URL. So this again you will get from here. You just have to copy this webinar.in.shoremdm.io in my case. In your case, you just have to copy your respective server path and you just have to paste it over here. Once this JSON format is ready, you just have to copy and paste in this section. Now the company name you will have to enter the company name over here. So in my case, I'll just enter 42 gears mobility systems. Followed by support email address and support phone number. So for an example, I'll just enter uh, support email address as Rahul at the rate 42 gearscom with the number. So once you enter all the information over here, you just have to hit on add button. As soon as you click on add button, the 42 gears ZTE profile will get created and will be visible under the configuration section over here. So as you can see in my case, 42 gears ZTE profile has been created. Now here in this portal, you will find multiple columns like ID, configuration name, EMM DPC, DPC extras, company name and all. With all the values updated over here. Like 42 gears ZT and this is the MDM next application name. And yes, JSON is set. This is the company name. This is the support email address. This is the support mobile number and yes, uh, the custom text message I have not set. That's why it shows not set. Once you have created the profile in ZTE portal to assign this profile on your device, you just have to go to device section over here. Under the device section, you will have to select your device which has been uploaded by the resellers. So in my case, this is the device I have with me. So you can see under the configuration, it says no config. I'll just hit on this drop down. I'll just come down and I'll find my profile which I created just now. So scroll down and you will find 42 gears ZTE profile. I'll just select it. It will ask me to update this on profile, uh, update this profile on device. So I'll just hit on update over here. As soon as you click on update, the profile has been assigned successfully on the device which has IME number 43578. Now, once the profile gets assigned onto the device, in device side, what all you need to do is you just have to turn it on. Let me show you what things you will have to do in your device. You just have to unbox your device. Just turn it on. As soon as you turn on the device, it will take you to the language settings page with start button. You just have to click on start button. Once you click on start button, you will get a EULA message to accept the license agreement for the OEM. Once you accept the EULA from the OEM, It will again give you an option where you will see an option called set up your device. So under set up your device, you will find all the information 
like the company name and the Shore MDM mobile device management, the EMM DPC application with accept and continue option. You just have to click on accept and continue. Once you click on accept and continue, it will take you to the next page where it will automatically download the short MDM next agent application and the status would be online in device side. So once the status is online, you are good to go and device will be visible in Shore MDM console. So you will automatically get a toast message, a custom message over here saying that device has been enrolled in Shore MDM console. For any more information, please, go to the respective group to see the device. So the device enrollment process is very easy in case of ZT portal. Now, once the device is visible under short MDM console, the default profile which we have defined on any group will automatically get executed in the devices. Admin will not have to log into Shore MDM console, select the device and deploy the job one by one. So this is the biggest advantages of using 42 gears UEM console using which you can customize all your options as per your requirements. So 42 gears UEM console allows you to set up, configure, manage your Android devices and also 42 gears UEM has a capability to manage all the endpoints which has operating system in it. So this is the message you will get new device added refresh device list to see the device with all these status updated over here you can see the device model the operating system the network information everything it has updated with serial number and all the information 42 gears uem console allows you to perform some advanced features like remote support if you talk about remote support feature it helps in troubleshooting the issues over the air as we know because of current covid situation the it team of an organization does not have the physical access to the devices and also they cannot travel from one place to another place in order to troubleshoot any issues which is happening in the device side. In that case, 42 gears UEM console helps IT admins to troubleshoot any issues over the air using the remote support feature. If any user has reported saying that this feature is not working in my device as an IT team I just have to log into portal click on remote support and from here we can perform the touch events as well in order to launch or uh, if you want to launch any application if I just click on back button then application will get exited and you will see like this so this is how remote support helps IT admins to troubleshoot any issues over the air. In same way, we have a location tracking feature. 
with the Google Maps integrated in it. The IT team will have the privilege to track down the devices based on the geolocations of the employees. With all the information updated, like the latitude, longitude, date and time of the device, and the proper address. On one click, IT team will also have an option to remotely wipe the device. So if they want to, let's say the device has been stolen or, or uh, the someone has uh, stolen the device. In that case, IT admin will just have to click on wipe option to wipe the device completely. Once you click on wipe, it will automatically clear all the data from the devices and device would be like a new device. So in order to prevent all your critical data from the devices, IT admin can easily wipe the device and the device will get secured. Now, if you talk about job section, which we have for Android, you just have to go to job section over here, click on new job. As we are talking about ZP, Definitely we will go to Android and here the list of features which we have for Android devices. If you have any private application, let's say you have your own .apk file and you want to distribute that APK file on all the devices using Shure MDM. In that case, just click on install application. Click on add option over here. And you just have to browse the .apk file which you have. I'll just click on browse icon. And from here, I'll just select any APK file. Once you select, click on OK button and just enter the job name as test application. And click on OK. Once you click on OK, the job will get created. Now, in order to deploy this job onto the devices, just go to home. If you have one device, just select that device and click on apply button. In case if you have multiple devices, then just select the prop uh, particular group and click on this apply job to group option. So this is for individual deployment and this is for bulk deployment. So you just have to click on apply button, select the job and just say apply. Once you click on apply, you will also see the real time status of your jobs with all the proper information. So it's in yellow color right now. It means the jobs still pending to be pushed. Once it gets executed, it will automatically get turned into green color. It means the job has been deployed successfully. You will also get an option to see the particular log of that particular job. If job has been deployed here on the bottom, you will also see the status saying that this job has been deployed successfully on this device. Along with this, IT team will also have an option to enforce security policies from Shure MDM console. If you talk about security policies, then admin can enforce the disabling of USB debugging. So to enforce that security policies, go to profiles and click on add option, go to system settings, configure, sync and storage and from here you can disable the USB debugging into the devices. Along with this, IT admin team will also get an option to scan the antivirus of the devices using the MTD feature which we have in our MDM console. So you just have to click on more option which is displaying on the right hand side and here you will get system scan option along with the two-way messaging feature. 
as a part of mobile application management, Shore MDM allows IT teams to create their own enterprise app store. They can use Shore MDM web console to compile a list of enterprise applications and push it to the enrolled devices from here. So if you have any private application which you want to store somewhere, then you can use our app store repository where you can upload your own application and you can customize your own enterprise app store. And later you can push all those applications onto the devices using Shore MDM. If we talk about the asset tracking, then for that we have a report section. Using reports, IT team can visualize and manage the assets related inventory of the devices. In order to generate any reports, just select that particular reports and from here you can customize the group as well and you just have to hit on request report as soon as you click on request report the report will get generated and it will be added under the view report section now to view the reports either you can just click on view option or you can also download this report in two format either in dot csv or xsls as soon as you click on view reports it will open in next window where you can see the information related to your devices all the asset re uh, related information like the operating system version the os type register date and all admin will also have a customized dashboard of their own it also provides an option to sort filter and organize to get customized panels with summarized views of the device parameters. It is an easy to comprehend one page graphical representation view of the device details, their status, alerts, notification, and more. Now it's time to answer the question that were submitted during the session. If you have not added your questions yet, it's time to go ahead and add your questions in the question box panel, which is visible on the right hand side of your screen. We will take about two more minutes to wait for the people to finish submitting their questions and then we'll get started. Okay, so we have our first question here. Can we see live location of the device? Yes, you can easily see the live location of your device using Shore MDM console. So for that, let me show you the navigation. You just have to go to Shore MDM console, select your device, and click on locate feature which is visible on the top. So once you click on locate feature, it will ask you to enable the location tracking. Once you enable the location tracking, define the tracking periodicity over here and the icon will be visible in red color. Now if you click on locate feature, you will be able to see the exact location of the device. Uh, yes, it requires a uh, enterprise solution, ZTE enterprise solution in order to integrate your Shore MDM with ZTE.
here you go is it possible to distribute the play store applications using the 42 gs web tensor yes we can publish or deploy the play store applications from the shore mdm so navigations are you just have to go to profile section select the application policy click on configure click on add option over here and just hit on play for work once you click on play for work just search for your own application which you are looking for after searching the application you just have to add it and deploy it on the devices so just to add to this thing we have both the options available either you can host your private application that is your own apk in-house application and also you will get an option to publish or deploy your public application which is hosted in google play store So the question I have got from Kumar Saurav, how to apply a new profile to a specific group? Yes, if you have a new profile created, then you just have to select the particular group and you just have to click on apply job to group option. Deploy, select the job which you have created and just click on apply button. So once you click on apply button, the job will get deployed on all the devices which is visible under 42 gears folder so to track to track the jobs you just have to see uh, you can see the uh, job status over here if it is in green color it means the job has been deployed successfully with the proper updated log message Uh, so this I have got from Santosh Modad. Is ZT a Google service which we integrate with Shore MDM solution or it is fully developed MDM service provider? So it's a Google feature. It's a Google product. They call it as Google Zero Touch Enrollment. At the time of purchasing your devices, you will have to contact your resellers asking that I need a ZT enabled devices. And later on, you can integrate that ZT portal with our Shore MDM console in order to automate the enrollment process. Yes, how possible disable mobile data off? So for this, you just have to go to job section, click on new job, select Android as an operating system, and here you will get an option called security policies under security policies you just have to go to peripheral settings enable this option and under this you will find mobile data so either you can say always on always off or don't care so how to check about the devices supported zt features so zt Enabled devices are basically running on these all are Google recommended devices which has the operating system or you and above. If you are using Google Pixel devices, then it should be on Android 7. That is no good. Uh, definitely, uh, we will share this portal with you over email. So that looks like all the time we have. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. I do realize there, there were a few more questions that I did not have time to answer. We will reply to your questions via email as soon as possible. We would love to talk with you more about what we discussed in this webinar. With that, we come to the end of this webinar. If you have, if you have any more questions, 
please feel free to send us an email at webinars at the rate 42 gearscom or you can also visit us at www.42gears. Thank you everyone. If you would like to rewatch this webinar, we will upload it to our YouTube channel in a few days. Thank you again. Stay safe, stay healthy.